What is happening, Magnus Science? Ooh, woo! You see that title, don't you? Well, let's check this on out, shall we? Let's check this on out. <clears throat> Come on now. Uh, let me tell you something here. Number one, Kamala did not grow up like me. She grew up <laughs> in upper middle class. Really, that don't matter. I'm voting on policies. Mm -hmm. And her policy sucks. So, Obama, <laughs> keep your mouth shut, okay? You're the gatekeeper. You can't. You kept the gate on a lot of black people being ignorant. <laughs> a quite a few of them have awakened to the lies of the Democrat Party. So Barack Hussein Obama. I tell you, this is really is a different day now. I tell you this, uh, a whole lot of black folk are just like, wait a minute. Why do we vote like 90 percent Democrat all the time? Why? That doesn't like we just vote just cuz. Wait a minute. Maybe we should really start listening to what's going on. You know, tradition, habit gets people to do stuff. But sometimes when they sit and think, like what's going on right now, it's making people think. People are like, wait a minute. What? Like something, certain something, something. Several things are going on right now. I do believe this is a very important election. I don't know if it's the most important election of all time. But it is very important. Something is going on right now. And there's more than one thing. The world at this point, something is up. You even got people coming out in London doing announcements talking about America needs Trump. The world needs Trump. I'm like, wow. Interesting. Kiss our, we voting for Trump. <laughs> This whole let's go after black men because Kamala's support is down with all men and black women too compared to other Democrat candidates in the past totally backfired on them. A yes, lot of it black did. men are responding to Obama right now for his comp. By the way, make sure you uh, subscribe to Pink Book Lessons. She knows what she's talking about. Watch her all the time. Obama called black men making their own decisions in this election cycle, quote, unacceptable. Well, black men, mm -hmm. they have something to say. Hey, Barack Obama, as a black man, this must be sad, man. Keep him. Come out of there and f*** the Democratic Party. We want for Trump, bro. Mm. Barack Obama gets called out after demanding brothers vote for Kamala Harris. So you had uh, Barack Obama. Everybody was talking about it the next day. Even I did a video talking about it. I was like, wait a minute now. He's standing here like somebody's grandpappy. Somebody's daddy. Telling us what to do. <laughs> Demanding brothers vote for Kamala Harris. And saying the reason we wasn't was because she's a woman. That ain't got nothing to do with it. Barack Obama ain't demand anybody else to vote for her. He ain't called nobody else out. Just the brothers, right? Because brothers ain't allowed to vote for who they want to vote. Vote for their interests. Vote for what they believe will be best for them and their families. You know what I'm saying? They got to vote for Kamala because Obama said so. This is what I got from all that, man. So you had a lot of brothers calling out Obama. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Brothers like, boy, I know, boy, I know you ain't talking Obama like, like, like Obama. You, you was the swaggiest president. You, 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 you talk a good game. I'll give you that. You know what I'm saying? I'll give you that. But we don't want to hear all that, man. Brothers going to do what brothers... I didn't see one good video about what he said. I heard Spike Lee did something where he was agreeing with Obama. But, like, I couldn't find nothing else. Dude, man, everybody has the right... To vote for who he kicked the damn hornet's nest when he did that. He kicked the hornet's nest. They want to vote for now who Barack Obama tells them to mm -hmm. vote for. And the fact that didn't nobody even think about this lady in 2020 when she ran is it's just mind boggling. Mm -hmm. Very they interesting. Got signs up in the back, all them signs that say black voters. That was very offensive. That was very racist. And I'm gonna say that that was very racist. If if it was Donald Trump.
Trump, and we had and he had signs up that said black folks <laughs> literally be all over him. would be spinning that all that day. I'd be all, all over him. The stuff y'all try to pull over people's heads, man, is ridiculous. Obama said what? <laughs> I know they ain't brought Obama. <laughs> the, the, the thing. He gonna get some straightening somewhere. He, I, I just know they ain't did that. And then he gonna have the nerve to say, "Y'all better be glad Michelle ain't here." What he gonna do? What is Michelle gonna do? You calling out black men specifically for that for not voting for Kamala because she's black? But what did you do for the black men while you were there? What did you do? For yeah, there's a lot of. I always see that. It's not anything that I paid attention to when he was in office, though. So y'all tell me that truly y'all the ones that was really following politics back then. Did he do anything for black people? Because one of those things is that that question came up with Kamala, and I think that um she had said something like, well, I can't just do anything just for black people. But then I saw people making videos like, well, you pass laws for Asians. You pay, pass laws for these people. You pass laws for these people. So what do you mean you can't do anything specifically for black people? I find that interesting. But I don't know all the details. So, you know, I don't like speaking on something. I don't feel I know enough about to speak on. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to know everything. I don't know a little bit about something. And I'm always hearing that, that he never did nothing for black people. I do not know if that's true or not, but I just need, you know, to know. But I'm, 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 I'm really, I'm trying to figure it out right now. You want to call us out, out of all the races, you want to call us out. You want to say that we supposed to just be supporting her because she's black. Okay, what did you do for us? I seen you do a lot for the LGBTQ plus. <laughs> I think I said that right. I don't want to offend nobody. You did a lot for them. You did a lot for the police. He really said it wrong by accident. I thought he was trying to be funny. <laughs> so, you the one started back the blue. But y'all want to say Trump trying to get a police immunity. But you don't brought your Newport smoking on here. <laughs> and want to say something and try to call us out. He do smoke. Do he smoke Newports? Because black people smoke Newports. And I bet you it's because it got a Nike sign on it. It's got the upside down Nike sign on it. You know, black folk love Nike. <laughs> Call us up. I bet. Old, older black dudes told me. I remember asking them about that. And they was like, Psh. I remember like talking to some young dudes. And they was like, man, I don't know why we smoke Newports. And I was like, I bet you it's the Nike sign. It was like, yo, yo, you might be right. And I was talking to some black dudes or older black men that I worked with on the job. And I was like, yo. Why do black folks smoke Newports? And they couldn't answer me neither. I was like, I bet you it's that Nike sign. We love Nike. And they started laughing. It was like, you know what's funny? And before that, we smoked Cools. And I was like, yeah, because it was, yeah, that's, you know, it's in our culture to be cool. And I can see that in the 70s, and the 60s, or whatever. You want to be cool, you smoked Cools. Nike blows up later on. Jordan's this and that. Everybody smoking Newports. I could be wrong, but that damn Nike sign goes far with us. Michigan still got a lot to say about you, because last time I heard, they still ain't got safe water. But you talking about us. Man, if you don't sit your <laughs> eye on somewhere, I don't care. Wait, hold on. My bad, y'all. I was looking for a deal, because I done ran all up. <laughs> Obama. Obama. <laughs> Uh oh. Who the hell are you, man? <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> Come out. Talking talk, to talk. brothers like you somebody's daddy. See? <laughs> like we can't think for ourselves. Told y'all. And I, I need to put the word out about you, you brothers who were standing there. I've been black for a little while now. From the beginning. And, uh, you know. I know how to talk to us, okay? Most of us know how to talk to us if we don't want to cause no problems. Every once in a while, you got dudes that don't know how to talk to us, and you see them getting kicked and stomped and knocked out in the street. It's different. But the majority of us know how to talk to us. 
And for some reason, Obama, I don't know whether it's because he was president twice and I don't know what it is. Maybe he just thought that he could kind of come at us sideways like that and everybody would kind of just take it because he's an authority figure. Well, they're finding out that they didn't. <clears throat> there with him as he, you know, talks down on men, black men in particular. Y'all should have left. I don't even know why y'all stood there and listened to that foolishness. <laughs> no, no. And then, let me say this too, Mr. Obama. I bet you you wouldn't go and talk to black men in mega spaces like that. I tell you that. <laughs> you know where to go. You sitting over there uh, uh, addressing black men in a safe. He place. said, "You know where to go." He said he was in the Democrat Democrat setting. <laughs> You wouldn't dare come over to black men in mega spaces talking that crap. <laughs> I guarantee you that. I'd like you to see that. Nobody's daddy, man. <laughs> Acting like black men can't think for themselves, and when we do, we somehow don't like women. Man, if you don't get your sissy <laughs> up out of here, you'll like the White House and gay color. So Obama and all the Democrats said that all black men should vote for Harris. Meanwhile, she's married to a white man, but it's a problem when black men want to vote for a white man. But she married one. The audacity of you. That was real quick and simple, wasn't it? Real quick, simple, strong, and to the point. Bam! To say to us that we are required and we better vote for Kamala Harris and that we don't want to see a woman in a position of power. You are a liar. I remember in June of 2010, I was in Baghdad, Iraq, and I watched your State of the Union address mm. as a proud young black man to see a black president on the television. Mm -hmm. But I listened to you as you told the American people that we would not spend any additional resources in Baghdad or in Afghanistan, and we're going to bring our troops home in December of 2014. Right then and there, I knew you couldn't be trusted. Why? Because I'm watching them build sidewalks, build streets, and construct buildings in Baghdad, Iraq in 2010, as you say we're going to leave in 2014. So now that you get on a stage or a platform and try to bully us and belittle us and make try to make the world believe that we're not intelligent enough to see what you and the demonic democratic party mm. is doing you're the biggest problem to black people not the republican party just because our policies differ or our views differ or our perspectives and values differ now you want to attack no barack you're a liar and you're part of the problem i really genuinely need somebody to explain to me why barack obama thinks it's a great idea to go out here and have black men vote for Kamala Harris and galvanize the black male vote when this lady gonna go to Instagram, type in truck and hustle. I thought that was him for a split second. I know him. I thought it was him for a split second. <laughs> we'll do the same thing for us that he did, which is not a mother thing. Like, let's be clear, Barack Obama talking about he on YouTube not a too. Time for your black men. To go out and vote for Kamala Harris when she needs your support. Mm -hmm. All right, we are obligated. He did. To do this because I'm going to pull out the race car out of my ass. <laughs> the same as I pulled out the race car when I told you we were going to bring change to America. Yes, we can. Yes, we can what? Yes, we got to reverse eight years of bad George Bush policy. The, the Democratic Party has convinced black people that Donald Trump is somehow already in office. This is how they work. It's, they, they, they literally play the same. They do talk like he's in office already. <laughs> Logical mind game to say if Donald Trump this, if Donald Trump that, Barack Obama, what did you do for the black people? What did you do for black people when you got in office, Barack? And the scary thing to me is that if he truly is running the Democrats from behind the scenes, in other words, there's a lot of people that believe, you know, that, that this theory that Barack is really running things. It's not, um, you know, comma or Joe. Uh, so if that is true, with things not being uh, great now and us wanting some change, trying to get Trump in, that's scary. You know what I'm saying?
Because that would mean that if she were to get in, if, he, if he's still running things, then that would mean that things still ain't going to be good. We gave you a Nobel. You were awarded a Nobel Peace Prize simply for being able to say you stood on the shoulders of Dr. King, Malcolm X, Medgar Evers, all the people that came before you. Did you live up to it? Did you do anything that was deserving of a Nobel Peace Prize before you got in office? No. Did you do anything that was deserving of a Nobel Peace Prize while you were in office? No. Did you do anything? When I heard he was being awarded that, I was like, what did he do? Like, and I'm not trying to be funny. I was just like, wait a minute, what did he do? Did they give it to him just because he's black? Like, I remember thinking that. But back then, I really, I wasn't paying attention to politics anyway. I was just like, whatever. Like, okay. Of substance for black people. No, but we treated you like Moses when in actuality you <laughs> were just Pharaoh. And I'm not saying uh -oh. you were Pharaoh like you were oppressive in Egypt, like, you know, like, like Pharaoh was to the Israelites in Egypt, but you were Pharaoh in terms of you held a political office. And we elevated you to the status of Martin when you didn't even do half the work he nor Malcolm did. So mm. Barack Obama was in Pittsburgh and he had a few words to say about black men. Black mm. men aren't excited to vote for Kamala Harris. We aren't excited to vote for her. Why do you think that, Barack? It's well, I'll tell you why I'm, I wouldn't. OK, um, because uh, first off, I cannot support anyone that's for murdering unborn children. I can't. So that knocks that right out right there. But after that, it's all these, you know what I mean? Like before she was saying she was Indian, she's a brown Indian woman, proud Indian woman. Then all of a sudden, black came out of nowhere and you're running on the black thing when the majority of your blood is Indian. I don't understand why you can't run as a proud Indian. I would proudly vote for Vivek. Is that his name Vivek? I would proudly vote for him. He's damn good. I don't understand why you wouldn't run as a proud Indian woman. Um, also, there's all the accents. I knew someone that was like that, that when they would get around certain people, they would change up how they acted. They wanted to fit in so bad and it was an act to fit in, to be accepted. And I've gotten into arguments with that person in the past about doing that. I'm like, can you stop doing that? Every time we around different people, you change up. You got to <clears throat> stop doing that. So I'm a person that'll tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear, because I care about you. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. Uh, it's a constant. Everything is just Trump's fault. Trump, 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 Trump. Everything's Trump's fault. Everything's Trump's fault. I'm like, you can't stand on your own two feet and talk about what you have to lead this country, what you have to make this country better. Everything. Trump, 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 Trump. It's like, wow. I've never seen that before. All the scripted answers are killing me over and over and over and over and over the same answers to the same questions. Middle class. Okay. Uh, it's funny because I had it at the tip of my, I remember because I named a few of them the last time. It was like three main ones. It's like middle class. Um, I can't remember, but it's the, and then, then the thing came, did you see that compilation of all those speeches? The same speech at every single rally, the same one. I'm just like, oh my God. So I, I just can't, it just feels like a, a show. It feels like um, a bad reality show that I'm watching whenever I'm watching her, man. Like something's not right. Something is, it's just not authentic. And Trump seems authentic. My money was better. I felt better. He's trying to get us out of these wars. He's trying to get us not to pay no damn income taxes. I mean, come on. Come on. Whether you can pull it off or not, just the fact that you think about trying it. Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is it because that she is drop step with one of the worst presidents we've ever had? Is it that she was the border czar and didn't do anything about the migrants coming over? Is it because she has to read from a teleprompter? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm middle class. I was I was a props a prosecutor, and 
I'll think about the third one that I always hear. Every time she does a rally or does something like that, is it because black men are just saying, you know what, maybe I want to vote a different way. Why is it that every time we have an issue, you got to attack us, Barack? You don't do the white man like that. You don't do hmm. Asians like that. You hmm. don't do Hispanics like that. But when it comes to the black man, if we don't vote one way, then y'all want y'all want to go and attack us. Yo, I saw one video where some dude was like, "Yo, man, it's like somebody told him, like, go get them n words in line," and I was like, "Yo, it did kind of feel like that." This message is for President Obama. First and foremost, you're not going to tell me what I'm going to do and what I'm not going to do. Number one, I ain't going to vote for Kamala Harris. He got that out the way real fast. She's a bad president. She's a bad vice president. Everything she does, she tries to... Oh, yeah, that too. The the whole manufacturedness of it was like she didn't go through the same uh, things to get the candidacy like Trump did and like everybody else did. Um, It's like she just came out of the They just handed it to her. Uh, made 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 Joe step down. People are saying it's a coup. I don't know whether it's a coup or not, but just made him step down, and she all of a sudden she she had a lower approval rating than him, and then all of a sudden she's the most popular she's ever been. Just boom, explosion of popularity. Like it, some that doesn't seem right. It feels manufactured. I, it something just don't feel right about it, man. So, like, there's just all these things. And like I said, uh, Trump got dirt under his nails, too. But um, I feel he's the lesser of the two evils. So, you know, if those are the only two, then that's the way we got to go. To politicize it, and she hasn't shown the fact that she wants to put America first. Ever. Yeah. Every once in a while, and y'all won't ever see the comments because they get banned if I see them. Maybe you guys see them before I see them, but... Every once in a while, I get somebody here. I was a black man. I am ashamed of you. As a black person, I cannot believe that you would not vote for our savior, Kamala Harris. I'm like, I'm like, these, I'm like, it, it's got to be trolls. Like, it's got to be trolls. It can't be somebody that has true critical thinking skills come to my channel and saying that. And, and and I get it less and less and less and less, but I even still get, uh, why are you doing political videos? I'm unsubscribing. Why would you prop up Donald Trump? I'm unsubscribing. It's not the airport. You don't have to tell me you're leaving. No one cares, including me especially. Listen, this is the way you could get me to stop doing videos on news and politics. This is how you could get me to stop. First of all, don't watch them. Just watch what you do like, which is kind of like the dumbest thing that people do. It's like, okay, well, Jeopardy's on at seven o'clock. Okay, then there's Family Feud at eight. I don't like Jeopardy, so I just won't watch it. I'm not going to write Channel 6 or whoever it is, ABC, NBC. I'm not going to write them. I don't like that you do, that you do Jeopardy. I only want... The Wheel of Fortune and Family Feud. Who uh, cares? I mean, so this is the way you can get me not to do political videos anymore. Don't request them anymore. And don't give me any views on them. There you go. Okay, because people keep requesting them. And right now, the thing I get the most views on. So people apparently love to hear what I have to say. Bye bye then. Ever. So I'm not voting for that individual. Secondly, I think that it's really sad that you would come out against black men and actually degrade them because they're not picking the person that you want them to vote for. Yeah. All right. And the last thing that I'm going to say is the moment that I became a Republican and a conservative, that is when I got the most hate from the opposite party. All right. Being that I'm a conservative, being that I'm a Republican, I've always been accepted for a little bit. Of yeah, it's funny. As soon as I, I same thing, as soon as I started. You know, showing that I had conservative values started getting attacked by the side that says they're such good, loving, accepting people. It's, hmm.
time that I may have been liberal, I never heard anything from the Republicans. They never came out and called me slanderous things. They never came out and called me racist things. Yeah. The only time that I ever started hearing yeah, things I did. about my skin color and about you know racism or whatever was when I became a Republican. And that was from Democrats that were saying that. So, no, I'm not going to be voting for who you want me to vote for. I'm going to do what I want as a man, and I'm going to be the man that I am, so you don't get to say anything. So, apparently, the former president, Barack Hussein Obama, just called me out. I don't know about y'all, but that little soliloquy of yours, Barry, sounded uh, awfully familiar. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. Now, as one of those brothers who won't be supporting. He should have never, ever said that. Kamala, uh, the reasoning for this is actually quite simple. Uh, yeah, we're done. We're done with the line, the constant gaslighting, the identity politics. The old vote for me because I'm a black Democrat. Yeah, no. And a lot of black men specifically are finally waking up to this. And you know, I remember listening to a, a black man speak about, um, you know, black economics, you know, black business. Um, you know, one thing, one aspect of healing the black community and our culture is uh, supporting black businesses and, and, and growing ourselves financially, right? But here, here's one of the things that he said. He said, when you're hiring, I'm not telling you to hire all black people. What I'm telling you is, yes, you want to help your people. You want to hire your people. But if you got an Indian man and you got a brown man, I mean, a black man, and um, they're both applying for the job, you hire the one that's most most qualified. OK, if, if, if you got what I'm saying, he said, he said, if all things being equal, exactly equal, then he said, then you would hire the black man if you want to support black business and grow the community, the black community. He said, but if that other person is way more qualified and is going to help your business way more, then you hire that Indian man. You hire that Asian man. You hire that white man. OK, but yes, you want to help your black folk, but they got to be qualified. You can't just hire people on skin color. If you want your business to flourish, hire qualified people and the best of your color. All the other cultures support their people too. And you will see other colors working at their business, but they don't just hire anybody just because. You know what I'm saying? Now, I understand it does happen sometimes, like especially with nepotism and stuff like that. Sometimes they hire the idiot son or idiot family member or the punk friend they got trying to help them out. That happens. Everybody does that stuff sometimes. But I'm not like that personally. <laughs> but you ever see me open up a business, I am never going to hire the bottom of the barrel of any color. You got what I'm saying? Equal opportunity employer here. I'm just going to hire the best for my business, period. Flame that Democrat plantation. And you, Barry, are terrified. There it is. Obama came for black men and this is what happened. For a long time, black people have been disgusted by Obama's lack of support for the black community while he was in office. He had nothing for the black community, but he had boule parties. No economic development for black Americans. No tangibles, no nothing. And as a result, black men have rejected Obama. This has been the sentiment for many years, but it was never I this I told you I've been hearing now, this. Does he try to show out or crash out for the curry queen? Well, black men showed up and showed out in front of the whole world. Yeah, everyone knows the truth now. Black people are not rocking with Obama in this era. We are not supporting Kamala either or anybody associated with them. And listen, Kamala the Cosplay Chameleon going to a bunch of feminine black boule shoes like Roland Martin or the Shade Room or the Breakfast Club, it's not going to change that. I actually met Roland before. He's actually pretty cool. Um, didn't get to talk to him at length though, but he was pretty cool. What you're going to find out is they have no influence over the black grassroots. We don't respect them. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. If Kamala Harris is having an issue with straight black men, who told her that she can change that by sitting down with a bunch of feminine men? Who told her that was the answer? Tell me what you think about this below. I want to send out a special thank you to Mr. <laughs> oh, God, man. Get over to Pink Book Lessons and subscribe. Man, tell me down below what do y'all think. I had to do this for y'all. I meant to do it way back when this happened, but um, I knew this was something y'all would probably like to see so 10 million subscribers